Okay, awesome. Uh, my name is George Castro. I've worked in the Kubernetes community in the past, and before that, I worked on Ubuntu, and I'm currently working in the cloud governance space on a project called Cloud Custodian. Um, is, I also have to drive. Can I get a volunteer to like, Sonny, can you hook me up? All right. All right. So I've spent time in both cloud native and client Linux, which is weird. I've always thought it was very interesting that you can come here and see some of the most amazing, skilled Linux system administrators and DevOps and SREs, and you all have Macs, right? But I came from this old kind of Linux distro world, and we all like to make fun of Linux and things like that, as you have so clearly seen. Yes. Um, and I was like, you know what? I want to meld the two things together. I want to bring some of the amazing values of the cloud native world that made me just fall in love with Kubernetes, but I want to take that and take everything that I've learned about building operating systems at Canonical. What if we could have the cloud native desktop? So what are you talking about? So I know a lot of you have Macs, and you're like, but it's so amazing. Look at my M2, amazing machine, right? I go to my university, and there are just shelves full of laptops. There's so much machinery out there, and I believe that I have come up with a prototype of what a future client could look like if we were to take the cloud-native tenants that we've all been learning and bring those to the client. Because the problem with the Linux desktop is it doesn't solve a problem anybody has, <laughs> right? I mean. It really is, right? So I believe that the way to save the Linux desktop is to destroy the Linux desktop and to just call it what we do when we think about cloud native things. It's just another edge device, right? It, the payload might be different, but we treat it like another edge device. So what did I do? There are two distributions that are leading the way in this. One is Fedora with Silverblue. The other one is OpenSUSE with Micro OS. And Endless OS, if you ever want to donate a laptop, you can put a thing on it, and it has like educational content for kids. It's amazing. So I grabbed Silverblue, and Josh and I have been working in Kubernetes for a while. I was like, dude, what if we could like make it awesome, but also bring it to your desktop without a VM, right? Now, a lot of you are saying, I've seen this before. It looks a lot like WSL. One of the greatest things about WSL is it forces that separation between our user space where we're doing the Linux cloud business and our desktop, different layers. So let's bring that to a Linux desktop. The entire root file system on this laptop right here is read-only. It is image-based. I have auto updates on, maintenance, very, very minimal, right? We're not talking app get update, and then you added a PPA, and then you broke stuff, and then someone makes fun of you, and then someone tells you to install the other thing, and next thing you know, it's 3 in the morning, and you're like, as you can tell, I'm really trying to avoid buying a Mac. So I built this instead in a way to kind of get the conversation going and think about how we're building stuff. So. I'm going to give you a quick demo here. Uh, did that come up? All right. This is my host terminal. It is, let's see, OS release. Can you all see that? Yeah. That's Fedora, right? Because I installed Fedora on my laptop. However, what if I could use the power of the Linux container, the OCI container, and just use it as if it was something else? Now, I've rebooted. so. The init has to happen because it's a container. What I have here is just a transparent running version of a, the Ubuntu cloud image with all my home data. And, oh my god, I can't type. This is hard. Pressure. Time, time check. One minute, five seconds. Oh my god. All right, so <laughs> I can't type, but the idea is what if you could take any cloud image, any OCI image, and just be able to interact with it, and your data is there. And we separate that from the host operating system. Graphical applications, they get installed with Flatpak instead. Totally different layer. You see a cool thing where you're like, I was, saw a hacker news, someone's do, rewriting a Vim fork in Rust or whatever, and I went to install it, and I couldn't find it in Ubuntu, and I couldn't buy, find it in Fedora. What do you do? Well, you should be installing this Linux system, and then you're arguing with a bunch of nerds for 25 minutes, right? <laughs> or I can hit this keystroke and just have an Alpine container instantly, and then I was able to install it, because that's where all the Rust nerds are hanging out. And uh, I was able to get this cool that you can't see, because I can't type. Um, I was able to get the thing that I wanted without reinstalling, but that protection of having 
my terminals and my user space. Think about being able to grab images from CI. Someone shows up to work, they get your customized little thing with all your development stuff on it. This is just the beginning. Um, but we need to move somewhere, and I'm looking for volunteers to help me out to build it. Thank you very much. This is way harder than you said it was, Chris, wherever you are. This is way harder than you said it was.